guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and our channel is all about the food. We do taste tests, grocery hauls, recipes, and what's for dinner. And I am here to, with you today with a grocery haul from Trader Joe's. I have not been there in a good while, I think probably since Christmas. Um, and so I um, just decided to stop by and pick up a few things and I wanted to share with you guys what I picked up. Also, a lot of this, well not a lot, I shouldn't say that. Some of this stuff is new to me and some of it's just new period. And so I will let you know when I run across um, any new things. So first thing that I picked up is something that I've had before and I really like a lot. It is the Trader Joe's Fettuccine Alfredo. It is a skillet meal. All you do is drop it in the skillet and um, you heat it up for like eight minutes and it is good to go and I really love it. If you want to, you can add some protein to it, shrimp or chicken, and you've got a full meal. So we've got that. This is new. Um, the cashier said it had only been in the store for a couple of days. And she said that people were already talking about it. It is shrimp scampi lasagna. And it says creamy lasagna with shrimp and white wine garlic butter sauce. And here is what the picture looks like. It is 16 ounces. And the serving size says that there are three and a half servings in here. So I'm excited to try that. And then another thing that I picked up, now this may have been around for a while, I just haven't seen it. It's mushroom medley alfredo sauce. There it is, mushrooms, Parmesan, and Gruyere cheese. And this is what it looks like. Let me kind of see there. That's what it looks like. So I'm excited to try that. Never tried that before. But we have had the fettuccine with mushroom sauce. Um, with mushrooms, excuse me, and we like that a lot. It's very similar to this one, except this one has the um, mushrooms in it. And then I love broccolini, and Trader Joe's is probably the um, the one of the places that I found this the cheapest, and so whenever I go, I try to get some broccolini, and I usually just saute this in a skillet with some garlic and um, herbs, and so we really like broccolini. Back to the frozen stuff, I got this um, Kung Pao chicken. And um, now Howard and I are not big fans of peanuts in the dish, but the peanut packet comes separately, so I just don't put it in there. So I just eat the peanuts on their own at another time. But this has a really good flavor. It's a spicy soy ginger sauce. And then I got their mac and cheese. I'm a big fan of the mac and cheese. I haven't had it in a while. Um, but this is a 14 ounce box and there are two servings in here. So um, whenever I want to make something quick, um, I can just heat this up for Howard and I and we can split it. Another thing that I always get when I go to Trader Joe's is their almond butter granola. I love this stuff. Howard loves it too. Um, and it's just oats and almonds and almond butter. It is so good. So, so, so good. Um, back up to the frozen, I got pork shumai and chicken shumai, and we both really like that a lot. It's delicious. Um, so got one of those each. And then I have not seen these before. Now these may have been around and I may have just been overlooking them the whole time. But I've mentioned before that um, Howard is from Jamaica. He loves plantain chips and he likes jerk style things. So I got these for him. To try out. I'm not a big fan of plantains or bananas, so I got these for him. Now this is something that I think may be new, maybe not, I don't know, I've never seen it before. These are elote corn chip dippers, Mexican style street corn flavor. Um, and so Howard is a big corn person. I think he likes elote, I think. Um, but they look pretty good. I mean, according, you know, just by package. Um, so got these to give those a try and then we have had these before Howard's a big soup dumpling person so I got this box for him and also um, I used to really love these things these flatbreads and this one is ham onion and Gruyere cheese and I haven't bought one in a while 
um, but decided to grab one. And then whenever I go to Trader Joe's, I try to get their coconut milk. It's cheap, it's like $1.69 a can, way cheaper than what's in the store. And the only thing that it has in it is coconut milk. So normally the other brands that you find in the store, they have like that, um, like gore gum and all that other kind of stuff. And so um, I like the fact that there's nothing in it but that. And then I just saw these. Now these may, like I said, these may have been around for a while. These are Honey Hedgehog cookies and they are individually packed little cookies. To me, I think they may be, um, here they go. This is what it looks like. Reminiscent of a Teddy Graham, I think. So um, I just wanted to give it a try. Now this, the cashier, she also said is new. She said it's really good. She said it's more of a soft cookie. So it is oat and Greek yogurt sandwich cookies. And I'm not normally a big soft cookie person. I do prefer a crunchy cookie, but they looked really good. Don't they? Yummy, yummy. So I'm gonna give those a try. And she also said that these are new. These milk, chocolate, and honey toffee pecans. Um, I do love pecans, I love toffee, so these sounded really good. She said I'm gonna be addicted to them. So I got those. And another thing that she said is new are these crepe wafer cookies, buttery thin wafer cookies, and this is what they look like. Now Trader Joe's, they have another cookie in there that I really like, and it kind of looks like a, um, like a waffle cone cookie, but it's flat and round. So I don't know if this is gonna be similar in taste or not, but either way, I was really excited to see these and give these a try. And then the last few things I got were some yogurt. Again, I haven't been there in a while. Don't know if the, how new these are, but I got some coconut almond coconut yogurt. So this is um, non-dairy based. So, oh no, that's not true. That's not true because there's milk in there. I thought these were non-dairy, but there is milk and coconut in there. But anyway, they look, look pretty good to me. And then I also got the um, vanilla pretzel one. And these are the kind that have a little, let me show you, a little separate container on the side. You just flip it over into the yogurt like that. Okay. And then the last yogurt that I picked up was the Greek yogurt almond butter coconut. And I thought that sounded pretty interesting. So I wanted to give that a try. So I got a total of three different yogurts. All of them are new to me. And then the last thing that I picked up was this butter lettuce. Um, may have salads um, as a meal one day or separately. So um, that is it. I'm just double checking, making sure I didn't miss anything. That is the entire haul from Trader Joe's. Hope you guys liked it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, we'd love to have you. And I think what we're gonna do is a taste test on some of this new stuff. So stay tuned for that video. Thanks so much for watching. See you guys next time.